Hey everybody, it's Robbie the Onion Chronicler. How's everyone doing today? So, well, it's been a little bit of a while since I uh, did any videos, but I don't know, just haven't been in the mood to do it for the last little while. But I decided I'll come back to it by uh, going back to a few of the older video game series I've uh, I kind of stopped playing for a while, but I want to kind of get back to finish them and maybe move on to something else. But, uh, this time I'm actually going to be playing The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit, since it's apparently something of a demo for Life is Strange 2. Uh, and, honestly, I enjoyed the first Life is Strange game. So, you know for a fact that I'm definitely going to be playing this on the channel. As soon as it, uh, as soon as either the first episode comes out, or, I don't know if they're actually releasing it episode by episode, or maybe they'll release the whole game at once, I don't know. But regardless, uh, let's get this started. For the record, I did play a little bit of this earlier. Uh, just wanted to see what it was like. Maybe compare it a little bit to uh, the original Life is Strange. Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you, and I don't know where to begin, and I don't know where to begin. Somewhere in the desert, there's a forest, and an acre before us, but I don't know. Where to begin? But I don't know where to begin. Again, I lost my strength completely. That was a nice place. Oh, be near me, tired old mare with the wind in your hair. I wouldn't mind being in a place like that for the winter. Whew. Nice and comfy. Whew. This planet. I don't know. We've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere! Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a lot of when I was a kid. Woo! We're this. saved! It's a miracle! No, it's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. Okay. Gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Funny, I'm more of a no cape kind of guy. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. Let's go with the mask. Looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Come on, if you're gonna be a superhero, you need decent protection, especially if one of your powers isn't being bulletproof. So cool. 
Should he be dark or colorful? Colorful. We're not going DC on this shit. Come on. <laughs> Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. today. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Mm. Oh, his wish list. This isn't greedy. Right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Dear Santa Claus, I think I've been a good... Uh, bleh. <laughs> Dear Santa Claus, I think I've been good here. Is my list for Christmas? Hot Dog Adventures Playbox, Playbox Console. Drawing paper and pens and basketball lessons. Sincerely, Chris. Okay. The heck? At least the forest warrior protects me from the snow ghost. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. <sighs> right? <laughs> oh, Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. Yeah, that's a nice kid. You know, if it wasn't for all the posters here, I could say this reminds me a lot of what my room used to look like back when I was a kid. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons. But just in case. It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. Uh huh. Android's team? What the hell? Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. Hmm. Interesting, uh, team setup. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. Uh-huh. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. That's not a thing, dude. Okay, there's lots of, uh, superheroes I've seen who are overly cute. So glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. What's this? Chris, since you're going to be my own superhero, this book is a good start. You can do everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, super mom. <laughs> well, that's nice. His parents care about him. Ugh, air ball. I just asked suck. Dad to show me again. Chris, breakfast. Okay, Dad. Hmm. Hey, Spider Baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. <laughs> I miss playing ball with my friends before we moved. What's in the wardrobe? Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. Yeah, come on, put the cape on. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. Okay, that's a good start. I need now. 
Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. Would you go through all the chocolate in the advent calendar beforehand? Okay, so um, it looks like the controls are mostly the same as the uh, original Life of Strange game. Next time I tell you to come, don't ignore me. But I don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I got things to do. Pour yourself some milk. Breakfast of Champions. Really, dude? Like, seriously? <sighs> What'd you expect, a waffle? It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you could be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. So what happened to his mom? So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? Uh... Big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today I bet we win. Now that's the fucking spirit. I'm sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. If you see something like superheroes don't swear, he hasn't read enough comics. <laughs> Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? No, that's fine. What happened? I worked it out. I, I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. So... So you must be excited for Christmas. I'm not going to say what I think happened, but, uh... I'm always excited for I Christmas. I have a theory. Intent. I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. Then Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. A basketball costs ten bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we going to get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Mm -hmm. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Oh, yeah. Put away the beer and break out the whiskey. That's a great idea there, bud. Okay, so things know so far. Dad has drinking problems. And the kid's mom's gone. Either the parents are divorced or the mom died. Because then the kid's trying to be a superhero. Mom's, mom's dead. <laughs> it's a horrible joke, but why the fuck not?
I mean, seriously, it's not a proper superhero backstory if Mom didn't die. Okay. What would Captain Spirit do? Uh, okay. Gotta get the costume together. See what's going on here. Well, I guess if he's gonna try and be a good kid. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. Come on, come on! Oh yeah! Score! I hope I set this right. I hope you didn't. <laughs> Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think of mom. So, yeah, I'm guessing the mom died. Oh, that's nice, Chris. You're better than a housekeeper. Just don't ask for a raise. <laughs> okay. Uh, dear Charles, I just want to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know... Life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family, and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at his at this fragile age. Um, well, it's been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love, the way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through our friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. That, that okay, thank God. Please take care of yourself uh, to cut to the chase. We want to help, so we hope you will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year. Or as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. Okay, so Dad's got a dream problem, and the grandparents uh, definitely see it. I gotta. Come on, aim for the head. Headshot! Ow! Oh, cheap shot! I'm going down! You can't kill the zombie jock. No way! That was a headshot! I am a super zombie! Well, I'm a superhero! Can't argue with that. Zombie down. <laughs> Captain Spirit strikes back. Okay, so... Dad never smiles like that anymore. Dad was so popular. Are you if I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks Serious? so different in his basketball outfit. Shoot better than that guy any day. See what you're doing. Stop it. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Ooh, it looks like Mar T Rex is getting hungry. God damn, you're on fire. Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. Or I had them on me, but I must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah. Car keys. So, step walk. I'll take a while, guys, and say we're gonna need the car keys for something. Hmm. Maybe I should help Dad clean the house. Instead of playing... What the fuck is this? Open your goddamn eyes! That was a goddamn carry! Okay, Dad's definitely an angry drunk. <laughs> uh, what if I had real superpowers? 
I could protect the whole town. I never get tired of hot dog man. Never. Man, I love this issue. Okay, I get what this is supposed to be about here. So the hot dog is walking home in the rain and gets splashed by a car. What the hell is the character who's picking him up, though? Because there's only one thing I'm drawing here. The the conclusion I'm drawing here is it looks like the, like the wiener is getting picked up by a condom. <laughs> oh, my God. Wish I could draw like this. Draw this. Draw looks horrible. Especially, oh, it's, it's a it's a thing of mustard. That's it's mustard man. Okay then. <laughs> Cause here he looks like a freaking condom. I'm sorry, but he does. Probably because we can't see the freaking nozzle, but whatever. No diving today, Nemo. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. No one will guess my secret identity now. One more piece and I'm almost done. Hmm. Yeah, the dead probably has something here. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. How's this? Yes! And what's that the key to, exactly? Careful of booby traps. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Dear Charles Erickson, I'm told I want to play a I want to play pro basketball one day. My parents saved me to all your games. You were great on the court. The last game was the best I've ever seen. Hope you are a draft for the NBA team. Thank you, and see you at the next game. Okay. That's scary. So we moved because Dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Okay, so it looks like the Dad's looking for help over his uh, alcoholism. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Oh, okay. That's, uh, Dad something. Dad used to always talk about this basketball. On fire all night. Ugh, I hate that beer can smell. Maybe someday we'll move into a real castle. Like real Vikings. Oh, hey, Groshki. Mine. Well, not really much going on here right now, so. Guess we'll go outside. Skip that part.
extra bonus points unlocked. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. So I'm guessing he's got a slingshot. Now the question is, is this gonna be like, um, is this gonna be like shooting in Life is Strange with that, with uh, Max McCoy? Like you have to be like, aim higher, aim lower, aim left, aim right. Or, okay, snowballs, that's okay. Nope, we actually get to shoot it. Alright. Well, obviously, if you're gonna bring down a pyramid, go for the Ooh, lower parts. Yes! Ooh. Got a split going on here. <gasps> Boom! Ha la 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 la. Christmas rules bring me the presents. So, make Captain Spear costume. Captain Spear's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. What? Uh, looks like Stillman's supposed to destroy our town. Only I can teach him. Only I can stop him this time. Okay. So, destroy a snowman. Not sure if I'll get to do all this stuff, but I'll definitely uh, try to. So what's in the garage exactly? It's dark. Huh? Raccoons. What made that noise? Joked, kid. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. My first picture it looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. That looked nice, so. This is where Mom went to school before we came here. This will. Wait, she went to Blackwell? <laughs> Dear Mrs. Emily Erickson, as principal of Blackwell Academy, I wanted to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our program to our prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with a long list of other alumni. We all have fond memories of you here, so thank you for thinking of us, and we hope you'll come visit the campus soon and see how your contribution keeps our dreams alive. Principal Ray Wells, Blackwell Academy, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Wishes. Best wishes, Wells. I'm going to go to art school because of me. But she was already an amazing artist. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that. And Dad couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I don't get this one. I'm too young. Oh, uh, okay then. Um, not really sure what to say about that. Ooh, I can even paint my costume once I make it. Where are you going to get the last piece of your costume, though? I have a theory what this might be. I think it's the year that was on those trophies and all that. Yes! Yep. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. Hmm. 
Local woman killed him. Oh. So his mom died in a hit and run. I know dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. A lot. Now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. So, there's nothing, nothing else out here? Huh. I think I'll be back when I got the full costume going. Oh, Snowmancer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? Seriously, what kid didn't build an evil snowman at some point? Quite a few uh, cigarettes and beer cans, this one though. Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. Where'd you get the lighter, kid? Seriously, does your dad pay that little attention to you? Mm -hmm. That was very well timed. Yes. So cool. Snowmancer almost froze the whole city until Captain Spirit melted him. For now. Holy crap, look at the place next door. Pretty well decorated. Let's go see what his treehouse is like. Kind of half arse, don't you think? That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. Anything else? There's my loyal guard, Sky Pirate. Sky Pirate, long time no see. Is everything okay up here? Aye, aye, Captain. The sky is clear for now. It's good to know you're on the lookout. Keep it up. Kid nearly lost his balance with that, okay. <sighs> Open sesame. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. <sighs> Harry did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. D in physical education. How do you get a D in physical education? I don't think I've ever known a single person who ever got, like, I don't know, less than a B. The only reason they get a B is if there was, like, an actual test at some point. I loved watching Mom draw her comics. I had to rescue my old cereal bowl after Dad used it for an ashtray. Gross.
Okay, what dark shit is this? Little thing in it. Yeah, I kind of figured yes. when he called it the water eater, it would have to be the water heater. Well, that wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Hey, Dad, the water heater was down again, so I fixed it. Wow, you put it back on? Congrats, buddy. I know you hate getting in there. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. The maze of doom. So it's out in the garbage. Still would like to know where the hell that, uh... Chest piece or for his armor is supposed to be. You need to listen to the TV without being able to see what's on it. I know that's supposed to be the sound of like uh, basketball player sneakers rubbing against the, the floor, but <laughs> it sounds like an angry bird. Like just a very aggressive little bird. They're naked? Whoa. Okay, then. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, kid, you, you saw some things you're not supposed to see till you're older. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Uh, I can understand that. I sense danger. Mantroid must be in the area. Still wonder where the chess piece is supposed to be. So I'm pretty sure that's the only part that's missing, right? Got the mask, got the cape. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Really? That's what it was? My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. Yeah, I figured that was going to be the last part. Let's finally finish the damn armor.
your mind. That's what it's like, but outside. Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. And how do we do that exactly? Spirit Mobile. I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. Okay, that's troubling. Here I come, Mantroid. Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit, you copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. I kinda wanna see what this Mantroid guy looks like. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no, meter shower. Turn on the force field. Too late. Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! Okay, I'm gonna say this. This part here I like. The idea that we actually kind of get to see what he's imagining. The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder Man Troid lives here. This reminds me of some other games. Not ones I've played, but ones I've seen anyone before. how anyone live here? Kind of sad and lonely. It reminds me of like uh, pictures I've seen of, like Destiny and other games like that. For some reason. And one lone light sound? post. One lone light post. Something's coming. Or somebody. Dare come to my planet. Mantroid, show yourself, you coward. Okay, I'm gonna hold down the button so I'll speed this up a bit. It's not a Not a massive increase in speed, but eh. <laughs> Sound is coming from that direction. You're too weak to fight me, Captain Idiot. This time, you won't get away from me. <laughs> I don't have to get away because I'm everywhere. Fight me instead of hiding. Let me guess, this is where his mom was hit by the car, wasn't it? You can't win this. You're chasing ghosts.
Mantle Street and Asteroid Drive. So that's where Mantroid's name comes from. Okay. This is making a bit more sense now. You will pay for what you did, Mantroid. I swear. We'll go check on the treasure and uh, then uh, we'll move on. Okay, well, I guess we got out because uh, it's a cutscene now. I forgive you, Mother. I can hear you. Every road leads to an end. Your apparition passes through me in the willows and five red hands. You'll never see us again. You'll never see us again. Mom was so pretty. I miss Mom's smile. Ah, yeah. Dad passed out. Let's wake him up. Dad. You sleeping? Uh oh. Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh... <clears throat> Dad! Yeah, Dad's just drunk. Uh... Call the cops. Fuck! <laughs> Are you okay? Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. <sighs> Fuck! That's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. 
I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smartass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. I kind of feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just... just... Just? Just... Hanging out playing video games. You boys and your video games. You should play games outside like we used to. Like your dad used to. Oh, I know, I know. I'm old. But I did see you clearing that snow off the front porch. So good of you. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? Yeah, of course. We didn't hear a noise. Are you sure? Lordy, I thought, I don't know, but it was loud. And there's no other houses around. You probably heard me and my dad watching the game. He kind of go crazy, so. Hmm. You're not the only one. I must be hearing things. I hope you have yeah, something probably. else planned for today. Oh yeah, me and my dad are gonna go buy a real pine Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. Stephen and I better get one so we can start decorating. Oh, I love this time of year. Me too. And dad said we could get the best Christmas tree on the lot. You certainly deserve nice. the best Christmas tree. And if you need any extra decorations, we have a surplus. Ooh, that would be awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking care of your father. Of course. We're both on the same team. You're a good son, Chris. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared. You I'm can personally feeling a little scared right now. Any time, day or night. <laughs> Getting a little too close there. Understand? <laughs> We're here for you. Okay. Seriously, sure. that, that's nice. awkward. I think someone else is a little sauced. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later. Go now. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you wanted to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh? No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. I, just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. 
Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! <laughs>